Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a review and unboxing of Wandering Bear Coffee. So Wandering Bear Coffee is 100% organic coffee. Um, they use beans from Peru, Mexico, and Nicaragua, and they have lots of different options on their website. So I ordered the Extra Strong Cold Brew um, Straight Black Coffee, which comes in this awesome little box. Uh, it actually goes right inside your fridge. You open this and then it has a tap that comes out. So you literally will have coffee on tap in your fridge. This says it has 16 glasses of coffee per box. And the set that I ordered actually came with two of these boxes. So I already put one in the fridge to give it a try. And so we'll take a look at this. It has wanderingbear.com, their website right there, um, their handle as well. So to enjoy it cold because it is uh, cold brew coffee. Then we have um, this guy. It says, Big, strong, cold brew with a smooth side. And we love a little box that has a little bit of attitude, so stop looking at my bottom. So we'll flip it to the side and listen to the box. Then it has all the information right here and nutrition facts, um, everything you need to know per glass. It has a little bit about the company right at the top and some best practices. So it does say it's organic. It has 150 milligrams of caffeine per serving. You should refrigerate it after you open. Kosher certified. Um, it looks really great. And like I said, Wandering Bear does have a lot of different products on their website as well. They have the cold brew, they have coffee pods if you use a coffee pod machine. They have regular beans that you can um, buy and grind for yourself. They have single serve cans of cold brew, which is really convenient way to drink cold brew coffee um, if you're looking for that. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and give the box a try that I put in the fridge and let's see how it tastes. Okay, so here is the box of cold brew that I just had in the fridge. So it has a little opening right here, a tab that you kind of just push open and pop up. And then the spout for the coffee cold brew is right inside there. So you just kind of pull that forward and put it out so it's ready to pour your coffee. So it was very easy. This then just goes right in your fridge. You can keep it on your top shelf, have it ready to pour. So I'm going to go ahead and pour a glass and see how it tastes. Okay, so to pour the cold brew, you just put your glass right under and push the red button, and then the coffee comes right out. So as you can see, it's really black, looks nice and strong. Get a few little bubbles on the top there, and now it's time to test it out. Okay, so here's just a closer look at the Wandering Bear cold brew coffee. So as you can see, super dark, nice little bubbles on top. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a sip, see how it tastes. Mm, that is delicious. Um, so the coffee, I would say, tastes super strong. Let me take another sip. Yeah, very strong. Um, it has a nice smooth taste though, so it really is not bitter. Um, I'm not a huge fan of completely black coffee because I always don't really like that like extra bitter taste. But this is actually really smooth, so. Even I could drink this completely black and I'm usually pouring cream and sugar into my coffee, which you definitely can do with cold brew. You can definitely mix in some cream, add your creamer if you want, um, put in some sugar if you wanted to, but I wouldn't even say that this needs anything. So the Wandering Bear Extra Strong Cold Brew, it really doesn't have that much of a bite. It has a really smooth taste. So I'm gonna take another sip. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, so I would definitely say give Wandering Bear a try. It's um, really strong. They actually use even more coffee than most cold brew companies do. Um, so you'll get a little boost of extra caffeine inside each glass. And it has a great taste, really smooth, not much of a bite. Um, just a really great, strong cup of black coffee. So go ahead and give it a try and let us know what you think. Thanks everyone.